Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Teague with Fred Anderson Toyota. Hi guys, I'm Adam here with Fred Anderson Toyota also, and we're gonna talk about hybrid battery pack replacement, what to expect and what is involved. So first of all, we've got us a RAV4 hybrid here, RAV4 LE hybrid. This is a 2023. There are different kinds of, we'll say generations, because mm -hmm. you might go all the way back to an old 01 Prius. Mm -hmm. You could go to an 07 Prius, 07 mm -hmm. Camry hybrid, those kind of things. So we've kind of got the old hybrid packs to talk about and then the new ones. Um, right. What have you seen, like what, what's the difference as far as technology, what used to be, what's with the current vehicles, that kind of stuff? Right, um, we see on these vehicles, the older packs are staying more on the nickel metal hydride, hy nickel metal hydride batteries. I know, it's a tongue twister. Right, it is. <laughs> and we're going more to the lithium ion battery packs for the newer stuff for the higher power delivery and the, the better punch that you get out of them. Um, typically on these vehicles, we are seeing the first generations of the hybrid systems just beginning to trickle in with battery replacements. Uh, we see the first gen and the second gen, which would be up to about 2009 for most of the Camrys and Priuses. Um, outside of that, it is fairly uncommon practice for anything above a 2010 in our store, which does almost 6,000 repair orders a month. Uh, we just don't see them. We don't see very many replacements being required on the hybrid battery packs for any of our model line up from 2010. Now we're going to use this RAV4 hybrid as a demo. It's a newer mm -hmm. one, but what is the difference between a hybrid battery pack that people want to know how much do those cost and just a traditional right. car battery? Right, so the hybrid battery pack is what they call the big battery. It's gonna be also referenced as the traction battery. It's where all the motive force for the electric motors on this thing is actually coming from. Uh, you gotta think of these in terms of it more like being a gas generator, a battery, and an electric motor that are three separate components. And the, the big hybrid battery is gonna be located right here near the rear axle of the vehicle under the back passenger seat. Okay, and what's interesting to me, I like this, is you can generally lay like an SUV like this one, you can lay the seats down flat, they're mm -hmm. underneath the seat, so mm -hmm. it doesn't interfere with cargo Not space. Not at all, it seems to be really, really designed well around cargo space to have that big pack in the house with you as well, yes sir. And then where would a traditional 12 volt battery that you would right. use as to start your vehicle, where would that go? So these use absorbed glass mat batteries, kind of like the Optima batteries that you may see in a boat. They're similar technology and they're mounted back here in the very back of the vehicle. Uh, we use absorbed glass mat because they don't have the hydrogen gas as much that comes off of a normal car battery that'd be mounted under the hood. They'll actually have a small tube to allow that off gassing to go outside of the battery. That way you never smell battery smells or even know it's in the vehicle with you for sure. Okay, now hybrid replacement, the battery pack itself, if you were to be able to see that, what would a battery pack look like, a hybrid battery pack? So our hybrid battery pack, the traction battery that's mounted under the back here, will be about this wide. It's obviously going to be narrower than the width of the vehicle, about this deep, long longitudinally, and only about that tall. They're really rather short, oh. and they're in a steel case, and they'll have a blower fan attached to one end of it for cooling and air circulation. So now for the all-important question, mm -hmm. finance and economics. Let's say sure. one of these is starting to go bad. Sure. Let's say you've got an older Prius, we'll use that because mm -hmm. a lot of people think of that one. Sure. You can replace the individual cells or you could just replace the whole hybrid battery pack. Right. When would that even make sense to replace individual cells versus the whole darn thing? Right, we've kind of seen like a small grassroots movement towards some of the second gen Prius owners wanting to replace individual cards in the battery or individual battery packs. Yeah. And our experience has been that we've had varying levels of success on that repair. So we haven't offered it here at our center because we can't guarantee the efficacy of the repair. But on the newer models, some of the packs availabilities aren't as strong as they are on some of the older battery units. So we really don't advise getting in there and trying that at this point. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then what would, let's say somebody came in and they've got a notice that says, your hybrid battery is going bad on your 2011 Prius. Sure. What would somebody expect? Like how many labor hours might that be? Cause it's not just a matter of pulling the battery out. Right. You, right. you got a little bit of yeah. you, elbow you, grease going on You have on to here. tear the interior down a good bit because they do tuck the batteries down low in the interior. And once you extract the battery, you have to safely de-energize the hybrid system and confirm it is safe for the technician to open it up. And then we'll remove the battery pack. Uh, typically in terms of labor hours, we usually charge around five hours for the process on the third generation and second generation Priuses mm -hmm. uh, because they're less invasive than perhaps example be the Highlander where you have more seats in the back that you'll have to remove. So around the five hour mark would be the labor quote on that usually. That's interesting. And mm -hmm. then let's just say I rolled in with my Prius. What would be a ballpark? I know you can't really say for sure because every situation is different, right. but 
what might somebody spend? Like, what does it cost to replace a battery pack, including labor? Because people right. aren't generally going to do that themselves. Right. So on the older Priuses, say Gen 2, I would expect the cost to be in the neighborhood of $5,000 and that's for a full battery pack replacement. And again, you have to take the battery out and tear the battery down a good bit, not as far as replacing cells, but the bus bars have to be exchanged over and the HV control units and all that have to be modded over onto the new battery. Um, so there is a little bit of invasive procedures that have to be done there. Um, an interesting thing though, once you get up to the newer models like the RAV and the Camry, they share Toyota's new Toyota Next Generation architecture. So you're going to see similarities in pricing on some of these units. For example, the RAV and the Camry are almost in lockstep in price on both the battery and the labor. Same with the Tundra, the Hybrid, or the Hybrid Tundra, the Highlander, and the new Sequoia. They're all on the same platform now, so they can offer the same pricing, and it's more congruent for our guests. That's interesting. And now, we really don't need to worry about the prices of a 23 or a 24 right now, because number one, Toyota has an incredible new hybrid Absolutely. warranty. Absolutely. I believe it's 10 years or 150,000 yes, miles for that hybrid yes, battery pack. Yes, sir. So that's peace of mind there. Um, but they can't be cheap, right, to replace something right. like a Sequoia hybrid battery pack, sure, right? Sure, certainly. And the battery is an expensive component, uh, but not nearly as much as an internal combustion engine for comparison. And also, you know, having been in a volume center for eight years now, it's just not something we're seeing. We don't see battery replacements on any of our hybrid units. Anything, if it's not below a 2010, we're seeing very, very low numbers of replacement. Oh, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. So, and you said the service center sees about 6,000 vehicles per month. Yes, sir. And how often might you replace a hybrid battery pack in a high volume center? We may see one a month, and that's usually a second gen Prius. It's getting to be a more rare occurrence. And again, anything 2010 and up, we're not seeing the batteries. Um, for example, this, this particular model line of RAV and the newer Camrys, we've not even seen them opened up yet except for maybe recall repairs or something warranty unrelated to the replacement. But again, we're not seeing battery packs come out of the new cars at all. Yeah, and then just a ballpark here, just to throw out a huge number, uh, what do you think like a Tundra hybrid battery pack if somebody had to replace a 23 and of course it's going to be covered under sure, warranty sure what could that cost if labor? for example you were in an accident and your insurance company had to pay out of pocket because it's not a warrantable concern uh, i would expect that cost to be in the neighborhood of seventy three hundred dollars to seventy five hundred dollars somewhere in that ballpark okay gotcha all mm -hmm. right adam thanks for giving us the nuts and bolts so to speak and uh it's an electric presentation i love um, it Appreciate you being here. Any last words of wisdom? Yeah, I mean, I just want to touch base on the fact that the Toyota is one of the most reliable vehicles on the planet. The hybrid system has been an absolute workhorse for us. I wouldn't expect you to need to get in here and do a whole lot of tinkering around, but if you are the do-it-yourselfer type and you are the type of person that wants to work on your own vehicle, please be aware that you need to have specialized training to operate on the hybrid system because they are inherently dangerous and there is a risk of personal injury if we do get involved with that system in the wrong way. Okay, that's great words of wisdom there. And then the other thing is we're gonna leave it open to the viewers. If you guys have any questions about service, repair, you here to help? Absolutely, anytime. Okay, fantastic. So if you have an idea for, hey, how does this button work, this control, service, repair, anything like that, maintenance, regularly scheduled service visits, things like that, we'll answer them in future videos. We just wanna be a resource to you. Thanks Absolutely. for watching. See you, Adam. Have a good one.